Hello and good, welcome to Cloud Education. Today we're going to be looking at how we can make objects interact with, with, with each other um, to get sounds made, to get like little games. So in this game, the cat is going to go forward, kick the ball and come back. I just demonstrate the game first of all. Make it big and then I just click on that. Then I click the cat, cat moves forward, click the cat, cat moves forward the cat, now the cat's moving the ball, then it again, then it again. I'm gonna hit the drum, and if I just press the space bar, and we've gone back, so we'll do it again. Move, 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 move. So we'll stop everything and we'll go back and we'll demonstrate what happened. So we've got our nice background which is our um, wall. To get a background, you press background, import a wall, and you can play around. We'll do costumes in the next tutorial. Um, we can do those. Scripts, no script for the wall. I've renamed our character Scratch, and the programs, when Scratch is clicked, move 30 steps. It will move 30 steps in the um, X direction or the way it's pointing forward so move that way and we've got the ball now we've got a new one called if touching if and we go to our sensing it's touching so you can have any in colors if that color is touching another color it will do something and we've used the forever statement because our forever statement means that it will do it forever if I take out that statement and just do that and we run it so the ball will the cat will move the ball but you probably won't see it you didn't see it because it moved so slowly and it won't do it anymore but if I do it forever and then go back run the script and it will just slowly move the ball forward we'll just set back there. So the next thing is when it hits the drum. So again we've got a forever, so it keeps happening, so forever, so the fucking keeps checking if the drum is touching the ball, it's going to play that drum for 0.2 beats. Now that's okay, I'm going to show you a problem with that. I'm going to undo that and then go here and we'll just get the program running. So we're going to just move the cap forward, move the cap forward, make it bigger, move the cap forward, move it forward. Oh, obviously I appear to have just unfixed that problem. I don't know why I've unfixed it. I thought I did unfix it. It's going to play the drum for that. And That shouldn't have happened. So I just get rid of that. And now we'll do it again. I'm not sure why I did that. So we'll just make it a bit bigger. And we'll just move the cat. We'll move the cat back at the program. We'll make the cat bigger. We'll press green script and we'll go. program. So we'll do this one here in the ball problem. So it's when the program starts, go and check forever. If it's the ball is touching the drum, wait one second. They're going to move. It's going to move back. If you look here, if there's an X coordinate. It's going to move back to here. You can restart again. Um, so we'll just get everyone back to normal, get everything back to normal, and we'll just start that program. We'll go back a second, maximize it, click on the cat. And the back. I'm gonna press the space bar, and the cat's gone back. Do it again. 
Now I didn't explain what I did there. So going back here, with the scratch character, I did a kind of a reset button. When the space bar is pressed, go back to there. But I don't really want to click on the cat. I'm going to do a new thing, which is a um, called a broadcast. I'm going to just get rid of that. And I'm going to go to our button over here. And give our button a program. So I've got here, it says when the button is clicked, broadcast move. So this basically sends, sends out a signal called move. And the other things, characters, can hear the signal and can react to it. So if I go back to my cat and I go to our control, so it says when I receive move, what do I do? I move forward 30 steps. So we'll try it, press a button, and the cat's move forward. Cat's move forward. Okay, but the cat's still there. I'm going to do, and somehow my cat, oh, I know why, because I'm in a different screen. So it's a slightly different screen. My cat's still there, I just put the cat's still there. The cat's still there. And the space bar. It's gone there, that's strange. Go to space bar, cat's moved back. Okay, so that's not bad, but we can do a few more things as well. So I'm going to go to my um, button. I'm going to give it, I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to just paint it. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to make that a lot smaller, about 14, maybe 12. And it's going to say press. I could do the colours if I want to do that, I don't want to do that. It's a very basic program. Press. So that's now pressed. And I'm going to copy that button. No, I'm not. I'm going to... Yes, I am. I'm going to copy that button. I'm going to edit that one. And I'm going to give it a... Now, this is not the world's best program, but I'm going to give it a fill. Now, I should be able to fill with that, but who knows? I don't think I can, actually. I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to, going to paint it. I'm going to paint it purple like that. Yeah, I'm not the world's best artist, and it's not the world's best program, but I'm sure it's a better way of doing this. You can also make your own ones as well. If you've got a nice graphic design program, you can use that. And that's actually given me an idea, because I've got a nice graphic design program. That's that one there. I'm going to just paint over that. Oh, I can't paint over that, actually. I thought I could do paint over that. Um, I'm actually going to give it a rectangle over there. And that's all got. But I can't do that. I can't get rid of that. Ah, I can get rid of that. That's bizarre. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to put that just over there. I'm going to put another text in over here. I'm going to just change that text to to down. I'm going to put that into there. Not the world's best art, but it shows what it does. So going back here to press and down and call that pressed. And as well we're going to import a sound as well. We're going to import a sound and which one shall we do? We'll click computer beeps, laser. <laughs> Or we can do a let's go up. We actually will just do a go up one and we'll do a meow. You can record your own sound as well. <coughs> there we go. We've got a cat there. And then, so we do that. So when it's clicked, it's going to do several things. It's going to change, it's going to looks, you can switch to its pressed costume, 
is going to play a sound, it's going to play the sound cat. Then it's going to wait. It's going to wait a second. And then it's going to go back again to the yeah, position. So when it's clicked, broadcast that, go to Profiter, play Sound Cat, and do that. And that should take a second to do. So just try that. Do it, do it over here, make a big screen. Press. Yeah. See the button. Fantastic. And now what you want now is a reset button to go back to normal. So I'll do another button here. I'm going to introduce another button. And we've got a press button here. And we're going to go over here. Um, that one there. And again, we make it just a nice size. We'll resize it. It's about that. And that should be about that size and we will call this back B A C K and we will just uh, we will just take what we'll do we will edit it and we will just do it with text and we'll make it smaller again and just call that reset so there. Okay. And we will just do again copy that. Uh well actually we'll copy that and we'll just edit it and we'll we'll, we'll just try it oh I just we just get that out of the way again. Sort of paint it. Oh, it's gone blue. That's nice. We'll sort of paint this. If I can just select this. Not very good doing this kind of thing. Just select it. And we'll see if we can just paint that blue, but we can't. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. I'm really not very good at this. Um, we'll go for not idle for test, we'll just go paintbrush and we'll just paint it blue. I'm not sure why we're kind of blue. We may not want to paint it purple. There you go, just simple purple. If you had more time, you could get lovely patterns, but I'm just going to do a very simple colouring in pattern like that. There we go. It's all coloured in. You can alter the paintbrush sizes on here to spend time. And I'm going to go to text again. And that should be. We'll just change that to. Good. We'll just put that to down. No imagination, but down. Great. Okay, and um, we just click onto that. That's our main one there. So again, you want a script for this one? Um, so script. So we'll do control. When back is clicked, it's going to broadcast a new variable and we'll call that reset and that will I go to our cat and instead of doing when the space key is pressed get rid of that it'll be when I receive reset move back to there oh costumes when I receive here we go cut to our reset button broadcast reset we need to change our costume looks uh, change which costume but to press one costumes but press one that's fine and we'll just wait again for <laughs> we'll wait again for a few seconds 
two seconds and then we will switch to costume back to normal so we'll just try that now back to normal maybe that that one second right so now we've got our functions I'll just check our buttons again just so everyone's clear so when that's clicked we're going to broadcast a thing called move and that can be heard by all the characters there it's going to switch to its costume that we designed play the sound cat and do that and put that to costume our cat's going to get the message and move forward our ball's going to be hit by the scratch and move forward our drum is going to, when it touches a ball, it's going to play something when it's touching the drum, it will go back when I press reset, it will broadcast reset oh, I think it's going to play a sound as well, because we need to have a sound for that we need a sound I think we'll just have a um, an alien sound for this one, a nice buttony sound. Uh, dirty were laser weeks, whoop, or zoop, as that will do. Um, it's going to play a sound. Play sound, zoop. Go back there and do that. Right, so start program off. So press the button <coughs> forward and back <coughs> down. <coughs> press it again, almost there. <coughs> and then press reset. Do it again. <coughs> press. <coughs> press. <coughs> press. <coughs> press. <coughs> Press and press reset. There we go. So the key point from there is was this broadcasting function. Because it's really useful because then it can pick something up and do something about it. Um okay. Thanks for listening to Cloud Education and um hope you learned something and we'll be giving them a video 